Our Tesla Model 3 has developed a little bit of a squeak on the front suspension driver's side. Have a listen to this. So in this video I'm going to explain what it is and how to fix it. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> So as you can hear there, the creak when you go over bumps and what have you is the upper control arm that's causing the squeaking. And it can be from two places really, and I'll show you that as we have a look at it. So first job was to remove the front wheel. So I brought it into the garage, put a chock on the back wheel, located the jacking point underneath on the battery, I've got some um, pucks that I use, although you don't necessarily need to use them as long as you locate the jacking point. With a puck it's just easier, so that's it sitting on the jack there, and that's it in place under the car. And then you can simply just jack it up. And here I am with a pick just taking off the dust cover for the wheel nuts. So I've then loosened the wheel nuts and finish jacking the car up put an axle stand um, to brace it as well so just in case the trolley jack failed and then the offending item is this bit at the top here this black um, metal bit not the spring the, the bit that sits either side and that has bushes at the far side which pivot and then there's also a uh, the ball joint and that's sealed it's got a rubber boot round there and so it can either be that that's causing the squeak or the bushings at the back there which i think are silicon bushings um, squeaking as the suspension moves so this is the front of the upright assembly the hub assembly with a pinch bolt running across the top there which holds in the ball joint. So on one side it has a, a T50 hex bolt and um, I can't remember the size of the bolt on the other side, I think it's 15 mil. So crack that open and remove that and that allowed the ball joint to release from the upright. You can see on the ball joint there that you've got a like a keyway which helps to locate the bolt that I've just taken out to keep the two suspension parts together when they're nipped up. And it was a case of just manipulating this ball joint um, because it was really quite stiff when I first got to it, meaning that the grease that's packed into the rubber boot there had all sort of escaped from the actual ball joint, so we had metal on metal. So after quite a bit of manipulation from side to side, backwards and forwards and all round, it released the tension and pushed the grease up into the ball joint and that moved a lot freer than previously it did. At the same time with some silicon lubricant, I sprayed the bushings at the back. There's a little video of me doing that. It's not easy to, to get to to film uh, with one hand, so apologies for the poor camera work. And once it was sprayed, I wiggled up and down to work the silicon lube in. And um, yeah, that seemed to sort it all out. While I was there, I had a quick check of the brakes. I do need to clean those, so that'll be on my next job to release the brake shoes and give them a clean and uh, clean all that up but as you can see here it looks fairly clean and there's plenty of meat left on the pad so nothing really to worry about. Reassembled everything 
and then gave it a test out. So this is the after. Squeak gone. So there you go. Hope that was useful. Um, nice quick fix and uh, minimal tools really. The T50 Torx bit is probably the only thing that you may need. Anyway, any thoughts, comments, then do drop them down below and I will pick them up um, as the normal. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.